would you say if you're on Pirate TV? I wonder what's for lunch today. At the end of the school song, they say pirates fight, pirates fight, pirates fight, fight, fight. But get in a fight at school and see what happens. March Madness! I wish I had as many funny jokes as Mr. Strzok. What does a pig use when he has a rash? What? He uses some ointment. You're looking at me! <laughs> Stop. I don't get it. <laughs> There's a jeans day tomorrow. Now it's time for Pirate TV. Well, Ricky isn't here today, so we're going to have to improvise on this Today in History thing. It's Thursday, March 24th, and tomorrow's Jeans Day. On this day in history, 1958, the king was demoted to Buck Private as Elvis Presley was sworn into the army. Exxon Valdez ran aground in Prince William Sound in this day in 1989. That was a mess. Oil was everywhere. And Joseph Barbera, who was cartoon greatness, would have been 100 today. Well, I guess we didn't need Ricky today. Now for the announcements. Good morning, Pirates. It's Thursday, March 24th, and it's time for the announcements. In case you haven't heard, tomorrow could be a jeans and spirit shirt day for you. Just donate $2 to Crandall Special Olympics. See Miss Thompson in room 119 or Mrs. Smith at the front office. For your $2, you get a wristband. Wear it tomorrow along with your jeans and spirit shirt. And thanks for supporting Crandall Special Olympics. Attention juniors and seniors. The ACT will be given on June 11th. The deadline to sign up is May 6th. Go to www.actstudent.org to register and get more info. Also, the SAT will be given on May 7th. The deadline to sign up is April 8th. Do that on their website, sat.collegeboard.com. Prom tickets are still on sale. See Mrs. Goodson in the counselor's office to purchase yours. Attention UIL academic students. The time has been changed for the bus to leave tomorrow for the competition. It is now set for 7 a.m., so be sure to get here in, on time. You need to stop by your coaches to pick up permission slips or stop by room 108. Driving yourself is not an option. Seniors, now is the time to start filling out the free application for federal financial aid. Seniors should do this online at www.faffsa.ed.gov. This is the first step to qualifying for financial aid. Don't delay, and remember, the application is free. If you're asked to pay a fee to submit the application, you are on the wrong website. Student Council will be collecting and recycling ink cartridges. There will be drop-off boxes in all the workrooms throughout the rest of the school year. Teachers especially, please help us in our recycling endeavors. Crandall Gold Dusters will be headed to Galveston this weekend for a national competition. When you see a Gold Duster, wish her luck. Don't forget, FCA will be every Friday morning. Come for donuts and fellowship. Bring a friend. Attention juniors, there are still ACT and SAT vouchers available in the counselor's office. Go by and pick one up. It will save you the price of the exam. Any senior planning to attend TVCC in the fall, there is a scholarship available to you. Come by the council's office and pick up the application. It is due back by Friday, April 8th. All ready? <coughs> uh, hold on. I'm sick. All right. The Thea will be administered Monday, April 11th at Crandall High School. If you're interested in taking dual credit classes, you will need to take the Thea to demonstrate college readiness. There is a $39 fee for the test. So, come by the counselor's office to sign up and pay your fee. Track shirts are available for pickup. Go and get yours in the council's office. And congrats again to the Crandall CX debaters. Zach and Catherine are state champs, and that cannot be debated. Mr. Hamilton is still gloating, so if you see him or Catherine or Zach, tell him, way to go. Oh, and don't forget about Taylor, who won state in powerlifting. A BJ. Kitty. Thursday? Terrific? Uh, yeah, I think it's a terrific Original. Have a, a nice, nice Thursday. Thursday. Uh, Same thing. Have, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Hey, Ricky, can we talk? Yes, my little muffin. No, Ricky. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love you, okay? Uh. But. I'm in love with somebody else, and I just feel like all of this whole Ricky Caleb nonsense has kind of run its course. But we're we're such a big hit. Well, well, yeah, but I mean, 
they don't even know what we're talking about. Okay? No one knows what's going on. Just, Ricky, let me break your heart silently. I mean, sure, right now you're probably thinking, wow, what a jerk. He's stealing all the dialogue. But if you think about it, you know, I'm really just kind of setting the stage for you to be the star. Okay. So you're saying you're breaking up with me. Yes. Yes. To recap everybody out there, we're no longer getting married. We are broken up. I have fallen in love with another person. That's kind of messed up with me, but that's where the show's going. Thank you. So, I mean, we're good. We can be friends and stuff? Uh, yeah. All right, then let's shake it out. I mean, you're not going to, like, show up randomly trying to kill me and stuff like that. No. Sabotage. Come on, Caleb. All right, that's cool. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I'm great. I guess, uh, I guess I'll see you around then. Oh, you will. Oh, oh okay. <laughs>